Tom Nappy here alongside Marla Morasco. Marla, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How about yourself? I'm doing fantastic. Good. I understand you were recently at the State House and you had the opportunity to meet Governor Charlie Baker. Uh, can you talk about what you were doing at the State House? Sure. So it was the, the fifth annual uh, Down Syndrome Awareness advocacy day for the Massachusetts Down Syndrome Congress and it's an important day for families and for self-advocates to go and meet our state legislators and ask for their support and funding for critical bills that are important to our family and to, or to our families and so I decided this year I was going to bring my son with me so we went and um, he got the opportunity to shake Governor Baker's hand and uh, Actually, it was interesting because I didn't know that picture was being taken. I'm the crazy mom in the back, if you see it. And um, one of our friends said, hey, look who showed up on Governor Baker's Twitter feed. And it's exciting. I mean, it, he, you know, my son's really proud of that. Um, it's important for him to be out there and start self-advocating for himself. And that's what I'm trying to do by bringing him to events like that. And how did your son enjoy the experience? He, he loved it. I mean, he, he's a very outgoing kid. I mean, literally, we sat down. And the first thing he said to me was, um, mom, I speak. And I said, no, honey, not today. Someday, but not today. <laughs> so he can't wait to share his story with people. And how long have you been involved with these programs? Basically since the day he was born, so for the last 12 years. Um, so we moved here three years ago, and um, I literally picked up the phone and, and called the executive director, Maureen Gallagher, of the Massachusetts Down Syndrome Congress, and I said, hi, we're new to the, town, to, to the state and uh, want to get involved and what can I do? And so I met with her and I've been involved with them since then. And I understand you just uh, recently wrote a book? I did. I just published a children's book, um, Adventures with a Special Traveler. And it's basically our story. Jacob loves to travel. And I, I wanted to encourage families that um, even though they get that diagnosis, whatever that diagnosis may be, that it shouldn't stop them from seeing the world and experiencing what, what's out there and that they may need to uh, plan a little differently, but that it's still doable. And so in the back of it, it is also a resource. I provide special needs travel information in the back of it. Some of the um, like the TSA CARES program that is available and, and information that families probably need to know about before they actually get on an airplane, for instance. And if people wanted to find out more about your book, where could they look? Um, they could actually go to Amazon and find it there, or they can go to my website, um, marlamorascospeaker.com. All right, excellent. And just uh, one more time for the viewers, what's the book called? Adventures with a Special Traveler. Terrific. We'll have to be on the lookout for it. Thank you. Well, we thank you so much for joining us today. Sure. Thank you for having me.